All right, let's do a recap here this morning. All right, what did we say this morning? In the last video, we got ourselves in some nice trades this morning. Let me show you three charts that we do. We do the 9 sim Renko. Right here, 9 sim 30 days back. Unlike a lot of Renko bars, I got a nice little trend filter built into it, so it finds really nice trend pullbacks. I'm not concerned, like I said, with these arrows. These arrows will fire off the 9 sim for position traders. If you want to position trade it of a long time frame, longer term Renko, I'm more concerned about finding when the market's going to pull back and give us a huge heads up where we're going to get an entry. We are now four for four on crude this morning off this technique. Let's take a look at it. So yesterday, the last video, I showed you the major explosion we had yesterday using this exact same technique. We had over a $1,400 move, risking maximum $130 on, a, on the stop. Several entries yesterday, same way to the upside. The best way to trade this is this. I have a 9 sim right here, 30 days back. 9 sim, 30 days back. Right beside it, I got a 5 sim, 30 days back. Right beside it, I got a 3 sim, 30 days back. These templates are already preset. Jiro has them set up for you. If you lease the program, it's plug and play on any market. Right below that, I have market delta showing order imbalances between the bid and the ask. To show that when the arrow fires, you got positive order flow going in the direction of your trade. The best way to do it is this. I got three moving averages on the nine sim. I can put several nine sims up on one chart, I mean one monitor, and really follow 10 different markets at the same time and see which markets are hot, the temperature's hot, and which are cold. How? How can I tell which market? If I want to look at, let's say, 10 different markets, I can just put a nine sim rank on one monitor and just know instantly if I'm in a tradable market or not. How? I got three moving averages. Moving averages to me are worthless by nature. Terrible for support and resistance. You don't know where they're going to stop at. Terrible for crossover systems. You don't know. They're lagging by nature, but they're great for trend direction. So what I do is I put three on here, and I use them for overall trend pullbacks. If I get my open versus close on my Rinko bar candle right here, if I get separation from my smallest MA and I'm above all three, if, I, if the candle, the open versus close relationship, the, the red, I mean all the green block bars, not the highs and lows of the wicks, the wicks are for amateur traders, I'm talking open versus close relationship. If I'm away from my smaller MA, then I'm looking for a pullback, looking for a pullback, Renko pullback, right when it closes red, I'm looking for a pullback buy. Right when that closes red, since I had separation from my open versus close, I'm looking for a pullback buy off my five sim Rinko with symmetry dots. So what we got here, as you look at my I'm three for three over here on my symmetry, here's the first buy signal. Looking big for it. Take a look at it. So this is where my 9 sim, right there at that high, the 9 sim was pulling back. I'm going to pull back on the 9 sim. First red candle bar. That lets you know as price comes down, I'm watching for my symmetry dots to come within two ticks price. And I want to see an arrow fire right here. I, want to, I don't want my symmetry dots to close. I mean, my price to close below my symmetry dots, the open versus close. I want to rest right on it. I don't care if it breaks inch or bar. I want to rest right on it, the open versus close, the block of the candle. It's going to have positive market delta to follow me through, and that's an entry, our first entry right there. There's our first pullback. Our second pullback, come down and get an arrow on the 9 sim. Like I said, I'm not a fan of buying the arrow on the 9 sim unless you're a position trader. 
hard trend days, these kill the market. I mean, they just absolutely nail the market. But I'm more of let the nine sim set the trade up. There's a nine sim first red candle. I got green all the way up. First red candle. Here's my second setup. Now I'm right here. This is where. Right here is where my Rinko changes color red. A longer Rinko, 9 cent. Then we get a pullback, pullback. Here we go. We're pulling back, pulling back, pulling back, pulling back. I know my symmetry dots are down there. Watch for the arrow to fire. It's a lot of break into your bar. It can't close the body of the candle below. It does not. I'm going to enter right there at the close of the candle in the arrow. Make sure positive market delta, delta is positive. So you have positive order flow following you up. Let's go to the next one. Next one goes up. We move up. Up, 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 up. There we go again off the 9 sim. We get a pullback. Get a pullback. Here's where, where we're at over here. This is the pullback. Where's my 9 sim red candle? Pullback, 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 pullback. I'm within two ticks of symmetry dots. You can enter your trade right here at this level. Pause the market delta. We move up. Here we go again. Market moving up. We get a pause in the market right here at 925. Red candle. This is my three sim fires. There's my candle on the three sim. Why is that a valid setup? I got a pullback on my Rinko bar, my nine sim. And what did I do? I actually broke out of symmetry dots. I broke out of symmetry above these red dots, above these red dots, you can look for a nine sim trade if the market pauses off the nine. So now I am one, two, three, four for four on crude this morning. Off of that technique. And it all started right here, off of symmetry, off of symmetry, off of symmetry. You can trade every market like that. That's without market profile. That's without even knowing about market profile. You add market profile in, and where these symmetry dots fired, with these arrows, guess what? They fired on my market profile. Break retest control point. This is where the LVA was, the low. That arrow caught the low. This control point at 20 right here caught this arrow long also. You can use market profile for icing on the cake. Do you need to understand it? To be successful with the system, no, but it really does help with the roadmap.